Hi guys, welcome to another exciting video whereby I'm um, looking at a youth camp like in the VIP group. So I decided to share with you guys so that you can try and bank something for this week. So on the weekly chart, we have this overall push to the downside. This was the overall trend to the downside around this point. So I'm currently looking at these two value areas whereby I'm looking for reversals to push to the downside initially up until this overall 90% rule around this point and then the reason being is that we have some corrective movement to the upside at the end of the structure around this point here and then you can look left and initially see that we are connecting with this area here in a form of a double top and this one around this point here so initially we can get like those selling opportunities as you can see we have um, this corrective price action up until we have like this last candle as an impulsive candlestick pattern so on the four hour chart let me ch just check like a few uh, time frames so that we can just confirm and see if we can get like an entry so on the four hour chart uh, that is where i normally check for momentum and all of that stuff and then as you can see here the momentum is pretty corrective and then we only have this uh, last movement here in a form of an impulse so we are waiting for a clear candlestick confirmation around this point on the hour chart and then we can initially take an entry and then to confirm each and everything we have like a few scenarios that we are looking at we have this ascending channel in a form of a one two three and then we have a pattern within a pattern around this point whereby i was looking at this pattern within a pattern and then to take like an entry around this ascending channel here just because the market does not need to reach like this uh, area here or break any structure for you to take an entry we can get like early entries but for you to be on the safe side if you are safe with your capital you can just wait for a clear push to the downside whereby you wait for that six to eight hour tight flag and then you take it on the break so you can have like something of this nature whereby you take the entry and then you wait for the break of structure and then this could be like your first target just because it will be in line with the first touch and second touch at the bottom and then the third touch is your uh, take profit your first take profit and then uh, another thing that you should be focusing on on the on this uh, take profit is that you can have like a red zone around this point whereby this is the red zone and then you can have like a larger flag as i always say when the market reaches this point most of the time you get like some type of a larger flag around this point where you can just take a re-entry around maybe this point here and then we get like those continuations to the downside so normally that what that's that's what happens like when the market reaches like the red zone so no we are currently at this a uh, green zone whereby we can take like early entries on the five minute using like the aft or we can just initially wait for our forecasted entry whereby we are waiting for this evening start to uh, complete and then we take the entry so the evening star will just happen when this candle closes just below like this area here and then that is where we can initially look for that entry after the close of the candle and then the stop loss is just above this point for about uh, 57 pips and then looking for the overall move as our overall 6.5 percent uh, move around this AUD cat trade or if you want uh, to be like on the safe side as I said you can just wait for a clear push down and then that uh, 6 to 8 hour tight flag around this point and then you continue uh, with the overall move to the downside and then let's look at the 5 minute time frame and see if we can just get to see um, a little uh, so uh, as you can see on the 5 minute we uh, already tapped that area and then we are pushing down very correctively so what I'll do is that I'll just wait for the hour chart to just confirm everything with that evening star that I was talking about. And then on the five minute, we already had like that AFT entry, but we didn't take like the AFT entry just because I'm waiting for the five minute for the one hour confirmation, as I said. So this can be like the AFT entry that we can look forward to taking. And then the stop loss is just above this point so that you can just be safe with everything. You can just use like the stop loss. Uh, a bit wider you can just move your stop loss a bit wider knowing that maybe you are targeting a large rr around 
uh, that's right let's just see if you can just you can target how much so you can target about 11 percent all in all on this trade and then looking at the nearest take profit that we are looking for to taking is about 2.5 percent and then of which is not bad and then on the outer structures you can have five six percent same as the one that i'm waiting for on the hour chart of which is six percent for the overall move to reach like uh this area around here so the eft is a bit better but uh, like i'll just be on the safe side and then just wait for the hour uh, confirmation and then we can take the one hour entry so yeah i'll see you on another video i'll just keep you updated and then if you see anything in the market that you need like clarity on you can just uh, drop a comment and then i'll surely check it out so that's your point and i'll see you on another